what is going on guys welcome back to a brand new video so as you can see uh the truck is pretty organized right now um while i was at home uh, me and my dad folded all the pads up and everything but as you can see i got a huge pallet of packing materials so that just tells you that uh i'm about to be pretty busy here in the next uh couple days so but yeah I gotta start organizing this stuff. Oh. And uh, we got a lot to do, literally. We got a, more than a few pickups, to be honest. Um, what am I, I'm doing one tomorrow, uh, picking up a mulberry. Then I'm going to, let's see. Uh, San Antonio to deliver. Then I'm going to New Mexico, picking up there. Then I'm going to Phoenix, picking up two more there, and back to Florida. So, yeah, I'm gonna have a lot of packing material on this truck. <laughs> I'll show y'all when I get done. All right, guys. After an hour of organizing boxes, I had the chance to replace my mud flaps too because I ripped one off. Damn, she looked good, man. buddy Andrew got me these Freightliner 175 while well, it was on the way down. Oh, they look a little better. I just keep ripping off mud flaps, dude. If it's not one thing, it's another. They're too, they're too damn long. Alright, let me show y'all what I got. Alright, here it is. All this packing material. This is Part of it is for the load in New Mexico. The load for tomorrow, I'm only using two mattress bags. I'm supposed to be using uh, mattress cartons, but I would rather use bags because the mattress carton boxes are freaking massive. So, but yeah, we got them stacked up on top, on the bottom. So, but yeah, we're going to be loading up 10,700 pounds somewhere around that ballpark so it should fill to right about the probably the 1400 mark maybe the 1200 mark that should be like 11,000 pounds if we could pack it good i mean realistically we don't really need to pack it that tight because that's the only load i'm taking to texas and uh after that we're deadheading to uh, new mexico to pick up that one load and then crossing over to phoenix Chang, yeah. we're crossing over to phoenix and then we're hanging out there for like i don't know four days until we load the next one so i mean hey honestly not bad for the time of year that it is um we'll see what it pays once we uh get the paperwork and everything on it but for the time being i got my help scheduled for tomorrow um i'm about to just Hang out, rest, take a nap, get ready for, you know, ready to get back to work. You know what I mean? So, until then, I will see y'all probably tomorrow. There goes one of my buddies, man. That old JR. Pulling that food grade trailer. Look at that classic. That's the stretch classic that you guys seen from uh, the Texas, uh, Texas Truck Market uh, show about two years ago. But yeah, good morning. Uh, here we are. I'm at I-4 right now at the uh, TA. I'm about to uh, finish doing my log here for the day. Well, not for the day, but um, yeah, I'm just updating it. You know, I got, I scaled out, got my fuel. So yeah, now it's just uh, time to finish this up and then head to the customer about 30 minutes out so yeah it's gonna be a it's gonna be a busy day hopefully i didn't underestimate with the help man hopefully I, the two guys that i got it'll be just enough so we'll see when we get there but uh yeah i'll see you guys i don't know whenever i can uh pick up the phone again and record or maybe i can set the gopro up who knows all right boys well it's the next day and i'm back here in jacksonville I uh, had to grab some tools from my house. We loaded up yesterday, 
and dude, what a mess of a job that was, like, the load ended up being 16,000 pounds, dude, and I only hired two guys, we got done yesterday at, like, 5.30, dude, what a, what a rough day. So, as I was doing a pre-trip, I noticed it dripping right there from the bottom of that, it's a slight drip, which obviously I don't want that, you know, so... Definitely gonna have to uh, tighten that up because it's not maxed out right now. So we're gonna tighten it up and see what happens. So, all right, boys, I had to replace the clamp with an old one that I had. I don't even know why when I replaced these, I put these on here. I should have just put these, but she's clean, no drip, no nothing. So, time to hit the road. Guys, we're mid move. We're getting there slowly but surely. <laughs> Almost there, boys. Boys, just like that, we're getting our butts out of here. So I'm gonna try to record me getting out of this neighborhood.
that sunset, dude. Stop, got me some carne asada and a bunch of junk food. I'm gonna just keep driving. But, man, this truck stop's freaking empty. Time to... Like I said, I ain't even in no rush, to be honest, but... I just ain't got nothing else to do but drive, so... <laughs> Good morning, everybody. We are here in El Paso. We are getting ready to uh, hit the road to uh, Albuquerque. Uh, I got here last night. I forgot, like what, nine o'clock-ish? Find a parking spot, not too bad. Can't really say anything bad about the truck stop. It's got a black bear. Diner went there this morning, showered, ate some food, and you know, I've just been taking it slow since I don't have to load up until Thursday, so yeah. Um, I'm be going up north of El Paso, I've never been uh, up 25, I believe it is. I think it's 25, I've never been up that way, but um, I guess you guys are gonna experience that with me, and for those of you that have never been out this way either. So, but yeah, man, uh, let's get to it. And uh, we only got like 200 miles, 250, 280 miles to uh, Albuquerque. So, yeah, let's hit it then. I've been bored out of my mind doing done a lot of walking I've been walking to go get food because all they got here at this Petro's country pride uh, doing a bunch of work on the truck here and there uh, you know checking over the trailer moving organizing stuff inside the trailer stuff like that and um, yeah you saw I blindsided in that freaking spot over there oh man not my smartest decision, but I mean, that was really the only free spot they had. So, but yeah, I spoke with one of you guys here yesterday, matter of fact. It was, I missed, I was, uh, I had an Uber because my, my trailer was in the shop and I had an Uber and we were kind of chopping it up for a little bit. So, shout out to you, man. It was nice talking to you. Um, 
yeah, we're going to be chilling here today, tomorrow, and then tomorrow we got to get our U-Haul late at night, and then go get ready to uh, do the uh, pack and load, 4,500 pounds or 5K, it says 4,500, but we'll see. I already got my help lined up, and as soon as we freaking load that up, run on back down here to the truck stop, and yeah, literally just jet to Phoenix, and then get set up there. Go hang out with a buddy for the weekend. And, uh, yeah, man. Um, so far, it's been pretty boring over here. Nothing really exciting going on. Um, it's given me a lot of time to clean stuff up. You know, do stuff around the truck. So that's nice, I guess. But, you know, we have the option to ask the customer if, you know, like, we can load, load them up early, but this guy was just like no so but i hope y'all enjoyed man um i know this video is longer than i normally make but i guess that's good for a change um i'm gonna resume recording i'm gonna resume recording when the day comes for me to go pick up the uh the u-haul and then we go pack and load meet the meet the crew that we hired and whatnot so i got two guys i just kind of want to knock it out pretty quick you know i want to at least be out of here by uh probably i don't know maybe like two o'clock because i'm debating on which route to go either go back down 25 or just go across 40 and go down 17 or go down 25 cross 10 to phoenix because i want to hit three little sisters which is odd oh down on 10 that's an eloy so but other than that hope y'all enjoyed that you did if you did cool subscribe like comment and uh i'll catch y'all ladies and gentlemen on the next one peace